Greetings, everybody. Uh, thank you all for joining us today on this live presentation. I am Belinda Munoz with the Department of Nurse Education at Delmar College. We are coming on live today to give you a last minute chance to ask some questions about your application. Should you have any as you're preparing to submit your application to meet our deadline that is coming up in about two weeks on August 31 for our next uh, nursing class that will be starting in the spring of 2024. So the August 31 deadline will be for those students that are interested in uh, applying for a spot in our spring 2024 class for our LVN and RN program. Again, I am Belinda, I am the advisor for the department and I've probably uh, advise many of you and, and work with many of you as you're preparing uh, through the process. But like I said, we want to come on live and give you a chance to ask some questions that you might have as you started working on your nursing CAS application. I have a couple of other staff members that are on with me as well that will be helping out in the background. And you may have um, worked with them along the way as well. I have Christy Bettis, who is uh, my staff member just down the hall from me. She and I work hand in hand in helping you prepare uh, your application, helping you with last minute questions. But Christy will be the one that will actually be reviewing your application, making sure everything was submitted correctly and preparing all of the information for the admissions committee. Um, I'd like to share that Christy and I do not sit on the admissions committee. It is made up of our uh, nursing faculty but she and I do play a big role in helping you prepare. So we're gonna hear from Christy later, especially when we get into detailed questions with nursing cast. Uh, Christy sometimes deals with some of that in a lot more depth than I do. So we'll have Christy on with us. We also have Cecilia Gamboa, our other nurse education advisor. Many of you have probably advised with Cecilia as well. We do have Cecilia on uh, the chat feature. So she'll be monitoring the chat feature making sure that somewhere along the way we've answered all the questions that you all have. And we're gonna hit the highlights of some of the most uh, frequently asked questions that we get. But if you feel you need more clarification, please feel free to chime in your question on the chat feature and we'll all three be communicating and making sure that we answer your questions. Just to give you a little recap of what we want to do today, um, I'm going to go into our website and give you all an overview and remind you of where our guidelines are at. Many of the questions that you have are answered in either the program guidelines or the TEAS test guidelines. I'm going to show you where that's at. Um, hopefully my computer is cooperating. Um, I'll do a GPA calculator. I've had a little bit of glitches going on with my computer lately. Uh, it looks like it's ready to go today. So hopefully I'll be able to show you a, a calculator demonstration and show you how we come up with your program GPA. We're also going into a nursing cast and um, just give you some highlights of what information in general goes into the, the about four different sections. I think that there are four different categories to your nursing cast application. And then of course, uh, we'll take some question and answers. So um, with that, we will go on ahead and get started. I think I want to do things a little differently this time. Give me a second here to share my screen with you all. I typically go in to our website and start with the admission requirements, but I'm going to do things a little differently this time around and give that a second. Hopefully that has loaded up and hopefully that is clear enough for you guys. The first thing that I'm going to do for y'all today is um, do a quick calculator demonstration as to how we calculate your program GPA. Remember that we are not looking at your entire college GPA when you apply to our program. We are looking at what we call your program GPA that is made up of the seven courses that are the prerequisites and the co-requisites that we require. I'm just going to um, put some grades in here. And if you all 
have this calculator. Many of you have asked me for it in advising sessions. Please go on ahead and run your grades through the calculator. I'm going to do a couple of different scenarios here. If you do not have it, please send me an email. We will be sharing our contact information, and I believe Cecilia will probably be sharing it in the chat feature as well. But please send us an email, um, and we will get that out to you so that you can do the same before you submit your application. If you read our guidelines, you'll see that in the prerequisites and co-requisites, we require a minimum of a C or better. And I purposely put in all Cs here to demonstrate there's two parts to that requirement. Individually, every class must be a C or better. You can apply if you're missing one of the three co-requisites, which is speech, ethics, or microbiology. So in this scenario, this student has C's in everything and is missing microbiology. So that's allowed, that's two out of the three would be okay. But when you come over here and you look at the program GPA, you're going to see that that GPA is under a 2.5. So it must meet both requirements, individually a C or better, program GPA of a 2.5 or higher. In this scenario, this student would not be eligible to apply. Okay, now I'm going to change this up a bit Keep in mind, this is not any student in particular. There's actually no way I could remember everyone's grades, but it's just to um, show you different scenarios here. Many times when students come in for advising, they're panicking because they've already gotten a C or two in a class. They've already earned a C or two. And so they come and see me and, and they'll ask, Belinda, do I have to take them again? Keep in mind that you can apply with a C or two. You just can't have too many where this GPA would go under a 2.5, okay? Now, also remember that the better GPA you have will give you a greater amount of points when we start uh, assigning points to your application, okay? So let's take a, a look at a scenario like this. And, you know, we have some students that uh, apply with almost a perfect 4.0 or a 4.0. Okay, so again, individually a C or better. Let's say this student was missing speech but had ethics and micro. As long as you have English, psychology, anatomy one and anatomy two, you are eligible to apply. You must have the four prerequisites. Again, individually a C or better. If you're missing one of the three co-requisites, that's fine program GPA of a 2.5 or higher. If you're missing one of the three co-requisites, what you want to do is you want to line yourself up to where you can take that class, perhaps in the semester in which you submitted your application. Ideally, guys, you want to be done with all seven classes before you start the nursing program so that you don't have to worry about adding any of that to your load once you start the nursing program. If you're missing one of the three co-requisites, we will allow you to take it if you're admitted into the program while you are in the program. There are designated semesters that each of those three must be completed by, and you must know that you must be must complete it by that semester that it pops up on your rotation, or you would not be allowed to proceed to the next level. Okay, so I just wanted to show you all a, a different, a few different uh, amount of scenarios that that we see and the kind of questions that we get. Again, if you do not have the calculator, please email Cecilia or myself, and we'll make sure that we get that out to you all. Okay, okay, everyone. Now that I did a calculator demonstration, the next thing that I'm going to do is go into our website and show you where our guidelines are at. Just a quick reminder of how we are going to be uh, totaling up your total points that will pertain to your application. And then we are quickly going to go into nursing cast and show you where um, the particular information goes. I think there's about four categories of the application. So we also want to go into nursing cast and show you um, a quick review of the highlights of uh, the information that we are asking of you. Okay, let's go on ahead and go into our website. Give me a second here for that to load. Let me take you to our homepage first. Hopefully you guys can see that now. So our department website is delmar.edu rn. 
and it will take you to the nurse education department landing page. If you scroll towards the bottom of uh, the page, you see that there is more information there. So you may want to read through that. On these options here in the middle, you're going to click on the left-hand option, pre-nursing students. And then you will see in this menu box here on the left-hand side, um, links to the areas where you will find answers to the most commonly asked questions that we receive. The admission requirements guidelines are posted here on the link titled admission requirements. Often you hear us asking you to refer to the guidelines and that's where you can find that. I'll go into that in a few. Um, questions regarding the ATIT's exam, uh, regarding test dates, how to get registered or the scores that we're looking for are posted on this link. And of course, we also have the applying of the nursing program link where you can find some helpful hints and links towards nursing cast. OK, so for now, we're going to first take a look at the admission requirements page here in this section titled admission information. You are going to see three bullet points. And these are what we call the guidelines. It's about a five, six page document per program. So remember, we um, offer an LVN certificate, an RN program, and, an, and also an LVN paramedic to RN program. The LVN paramedic to RN program takes applications once a year on the January 31 cycle. Um, on this cycle, on the August 31 cycle, we are taking applications for the LVN program and the RN program. Keep in mind that the August 31 deadline is for the incoming class, which is January 2024. Sounds really weird. January 2024 is when uh, the students would be starting that would be admitted off of the August 31 cycle. OK, let's go on ahead and click on registered nurse. Just for a quick example, it is a six page document. So this is where you want to look after you have calculated your program GPA. And remember, as I mentioned earlier, if you don't have a copy of the calculator, send either myself or Cecilia an email requesting that, and we will get that out to you as, as soon as we see your email. If you scroll down a little bit, guys, along the first page, you're going to see the prerequisites and the co-requisites listed. So a quick review. Remember that you absolutely have to have completed the four prerequisites with a C or better to be eligible to apply to our program. And again, that is English, general psychology, anatomy and physiology one and two. There are three additional classes that we are wanting you to have in your background. That is a speech class, an ethics class, and a microbiology course. We no longer put chemistry in the calculator, but remember that if you are um, wanting to take microbiology here at Del Mar, the natural science department requires that you have basic chemistry in order as a prerequisite in order to be able to take microbiology. Now, if you have completed all seven courses by the time that you are submitting your application, that will give you the strongest application you can possibly have. You can apply if you are missing one of these three, one of the co-requisites, either a speech class, an ethics class, or a microbiology class. You are eligible to apply if you still have not completed one of those, but you absolutely have to have the top four prerequisites completed. Okay. So now I am going to scroll down to page five. Excuse the blurriness here for a second. In page five, you will see, showing you this is five, okay? You will see this section titled selection process. The reason that I did the calculator demonstration first is because I wanted you to then have an idea of how important that program GPA is once we start to rank your application on our point system. I think I showed about three different scenarios of uh, different kinds of grade calculations. So depending on where your program GPA is determines the amount of points that your application would start with. So we on this on this um, scale will start your application with either three 
five, eight, or 10 points. So I think one of the um, first scenarios was like a 2.6 type of a GPA. And let's say it was a 2.6 flat. That would mean you would start with three points. If your GPA is like a 2.8, you would start at five points. If your GPA is a 3.0 flat, that would bump you up into eight points. Many times when students have completed all classes and they're a little bit lower here, let's say in the five point range or the three point range, then they'll come and ask me, well, Belinda, what do I do now that I've already completed all of them? The other option you would have at that point is to go back, look at classes in which maybe you, can, you earned a C and work towards um, improving that grade and taking that class again, repeating that class to try to improve that GPA. When you have the program GPA calculator uh, for, for you to plug your grades into, you will know exactly how much of a jump you will make or if, if repeating one class would be plenty to move you into the next level, okay? So let's say we're starting your application with eight points. Then that's the number we start with. Then we continue on with the rest of the uh, point process here and add points to that number. So co-requisite points means we are going to give you one point for each co-requisite. Remember there's three, speech, microbiology, and ethics. Any of those three you've completed with a C or better will earn you another point. Uh, we will look at your T's score report. If you scored advanced or exemplary on the T's, we are going to give you an additional five or 10 points. And lastly, we have, uh, since a year ago, made some updates to our guidelines. We used to offer more bonus points for some of the general education courses. We have cut that back to these four classes. Uh, lifespan growth and development, if completed with a C or better, earns you two bonus points. Pathophysiology, statistics, and nutrition and diet therapy are each worth one point. That is an additional possible five points that you can earn by having completed some of these um, other general education courses outside of the seven that we require. Now, once that final number is calculated for your application, remember that we select the class by ranking all of our applicants from the highest number to the lowest number. We are admitting a class on the average of about 80 students per cycle. So again, guys, it's very important that you have the best possible GPA that you can possibly have. I tell students all the time, these are bonus point classes. They are not required, but do know that the more bonus points you have, the more competitive of an application you will have. 95% of an incoming class is built for the RN student with 5%, excuse me, of an incoming class built for the LVN student, okay? Decisions will go out approximately eight weeks after each application deadline. So off of the August 31 application cycle, you can expect a decision, let's say the middle of October to late October. And remember that decisions will go out to the email address that you list on your nursing CAS account, okay? There is six pages to this document, guys. I am not going to go through all of it, but the most important part at this point as you're working towards packaging your application is knowing if you meet the GPA requirements, how many of the classes you have, and how many of those points you're um, earning to get to that final number. Back over here on the admission requirements page, um, I'm going back into this menu here. I am now going to click on ATITs. Just a quick reminder, um, some of you may already be scheduled into one of the last uh, test date options that we had for this month. Uh, just a reminder that if you click here in this box, this is where the guidelines are posted. I believe this one's about a four page document, okay? The only thing I'm gonna show you here for the sake of time is going down to page four, I believe, the top of page four. This is a very popular question that we get, what scores are required? There's three sec excuse me, sections that we're looking at, the reading section, the science section, and the academic preparedness level. 
we call that the overall score. Academic preparedness level, guys, at minimum has to be proficient. Remember that if you reach advanced or exemplary status on that, if you scroll down just a bit more, just a reminder that you will get bonus points if your overall score was advanced or exemplary. We're looking for a minimum 68.1% or higher on your reading, a 48.9% or higher on your science. All of these three requirements must be met, excuse me, on the same test. So if you um, met two of the three required scores, but let's say you were proficient and reading was um, 65 percent and science was 51 percent you would have to take the test again because that 65 percent was a tad bit lower than the 68.1 okay so all three sections must be met on one test remember that if you have to retest we have a minimum a 28 day waiting period that must happen before you can take the test again um, if you met the GPA requirements, but you have not met the T's requirements and you don't meet them by the deadline date of August 31, then remember that you can work towards the next application cycle, which is August 31. Okay, guys, that's a four page document. Again, I was not intending to go through all of it. Um, the next thing that I want to do, and just a quick reminder, remember all of this is off of our website, delmar edu slash rn and you click here on pre-nursing students the final thing that i want to do now is go into nursing cast nursingcast.org is the online application service that we use i do have an account that i have created uh, just to be able to come in here and just show some basic information of course i don't have any data inputted in here so um, on the application cycle, it is going to be spring 2024. And you click on apply, give that a second to load. The big things that I wanted to cover here with you all is that there are four sections. OK, the per personal information, pretty straightforward. I think it's just asking some identifying you know, information about yourself. Remember to be strategic as to what email address you put in here because remember that that is where the decision will go. So that's the email account that you want to monitor um, for your final decision. Okay, academic history. In this section is where you have to list every college and university attended, and you have to list in order by the semester that you took them, every class that you took at every college and university you've attended even if they do not pertain to the nursing program, you have to list every class you have ever taken in your college history. We've had students at times that will only list the prerequisites and the co-requisites. And even if you have a perfect 4.0 GPA because the instructions were not followed, that application would not be reviewed. So make sure that you list every college and university attended every class you've taken at every school you've attended and then make sure that both Del Mar College Enrollment Center has a transcript of every college and university you've attended an official transcript and remember that you also have to send an official transcript directly to nursing cast here in the supporting information section it's asking you for achievements experiences and licensure and certification on this cycle, guys, we are not looking at anything on in this section. So you will click on I am not adding any achievements. I am not adding any experiences. I am not adding any licensure or certification. We used to give bonus points for CNA or CMA certification. We no longer do. Um, this is where that information would go in the past, but since we no longer give those bonus points, we are not looking at anything beyond that program GPA and those uh, bonus point courses. So we are not looking at any other accolades that you may have earned. As wonderful as they are, we are just uh, analyzing all of our applicants on that point system. 
In the program materials section, you are going to see in here that this is where, if you click on documents, I believe, this is where you would upload your T's score reports and score report and your vaccination records. There's um, several of these little slots in here. If you don't use them all, that's okay. Just know that there's several of, of those there for you to pick from. Um, that would be the only information that you would be uploading here, okay? Uh, one more thing that I did want to mention about Nursing Cast is here in the corner, see where my name is here in this little drop down box? I believe this is where the Help Center, here it is, on the very top here, if you would click on Help Center, um, they have uh, additional support information here that you all can uh, read through. Uh, look at the topics that that you're uh, needing assistance with, and I believe I believe they have it structured by uh, component area, like those those four blocks. I believe that's how they have this filled out as well. See this one here, filling out your nursing cast application, and it has the four sections: personal information, academic history, supporting information, and program materials. Click on each of those sections to answer the questions that you might have. If you call us and it's more of a technical type of an issue, you're having a programming issue. Um, I've had students call me this week saying nursing cast doesn't let me edit a particular section. Those kinds of questions, guys, y'all have to refer those directly to nursing cast because that's more of a programming issue. So we would have no idea how to answer that as much as we want to help you. We just have no idea on, on some of the technical parts. What we have done is it's a service that we use, but we just let them know what information we want and they basically have designed that application. Okay, um, the last thing I wanted to do is just go over uh, some a quick review. Easiest thing for me to do, I'm a visual learner and I figure the whole world is, so the easiest thing for me to do is to just uh, Put, summarize it on, on these PowerPoint slides. Um, just a quick reminder of our application deadline date being August 31, that's two weeks away on a Thursday. Nursing CAST is physically located over on the East Coast. Uh, remember that that means it's going to close Texas time an hour earlier. It will physically turn itself off at, at 10.59 p.m. Texas time. So if you have to be on that evening for whatever reason before you submit your application, do know that the system will completely close the application off at 10.59 p.m. So try to make all of your changes before then. If you determine after reviewing this video, calculating your GPA or perhaps meeting with Cecilia and I, that you would have a stronger application or you're just not quite ready for this deadline, remember our next application cycle will be January 31, and that would be for the incoming class next August. So this August 31 application cycle is for the incoming class for January 2024. The January 31, 2024 application deadline is for the incoming class for next August of 2024. A quick recap of prerequisites and co-requisites. I think we've uh, pretty much gone over that uh, several times today. On the left-hand side in red, English, psychology, anatomy, and physiology one and two must be completed for you to be eligible to submit your application. You would have the strongest application you could possibly have if you have all of the courses completed, um, but you are able to apply if you're missing any of the classes in yellow. Remember, we are no longer looking at your grade for basic chemistry, but I still list it on there. It is no longer a co-requisite. However, if you are going to uh, take microbiology here at Del Mar, the science department requires that you have basic chemistry as a prerequisite completed before you can take microbiology. A recap of the bonus point classes. Remember we last year, our faculty updated our guidelines and they cut those classes back down to four. Lifespan growth and development is worth two points. The other three classes are all worth one point. Those three being nutrition, 
pathophysiology and statistics. Remember to be eligible to earn that additional point. You must have completed the course with AC or better. And here is our contact information. Again, as I mentioned in the beginning, I am Belinda, um, and I know I've worked with many of you. Some of you have met with both Cecilia and I. You can find me at bmunoz20 at delmar.edu. If you'd like to reach out to Cecilia, uh, her email is cgamboa at delmar.edu. That is correct, Cecilia. I pick on her. I say she's original. She has no number <laughs> by her name. So it's bmunoz20 at delmar.edu, cgamboa at delmar.edu. We are the two advisors for the department. Um, please email us if you have any questions. Please understand we are in the height of last minute late registration within the next two weeks, but we are trying as best as we can to answer those emails and return those calls to you all that have last minute questions regarding our application cycle. Okay, so again, we, we've covered quite a bit of information today. We did a calculator demonstration. We went onto our website and showed you where you can find the guidelines. We also showed you where you could find the TEAS guidelines, and we covered what the minimum score requirements are that we are looking for. And uh, we also went into nursing CAS and gave you an overview of the information that we are looking uh, for on your application. Remember that the application will shut down at 10.59 p.m. Texas time on Thursday, August 31. Again, I am Belinda. If you have any questions, please reach out to me or Cecilia. This is a, a really rewarding time for us as we're working with you to package your application and, and help you meet that deadline date. So good luck to everybody. Please reach out to us if you have any questions. Thank you for joining us on this presentation, and we hope to see you in our next class of nursing students. On behalf of our department, thank you all for joining us and good luck.